So bottom snare head tuning, I get a lot of questions about tuning, proper ways to do it, and there's a, a, there's a lot of schools of thought out there, mine are just one, but this is, uh, uh, these are a couple things that have helped me over the years. So this isn't gonna be a complete snare tuning tutorial, it's specifically about just the bottom head, what do we do when we're tuning that, all of that, uh, some tips for a better sound. And so typically on the bottom head, you have a thinner head than the top head. That thinner head is gonna allow you to get a lot more snap uh, whenever it comes to tuning and whatnot. Um, um, the three tips I could give you my biggest tip is for those that don't know now you do when you're tuning your bottom head if you take a stick like this and you simply run it under the snares don't take one that's all jagged and eaten up uh, and loosen your snares before you do this so you don't stretch them too much but if you take that and you just lay the stick across there you can now tune the head without having to deal with holding the snare up like I used to. I, and I only, this is only my first tip because um, for years I didn't do this and I don't know why I didn't do this. And then one day I saw someone do it and I'm like, that is genius, why did I never think of that? So first tip would be get the snares out of the way, make it hands free so now I can tune that snare and it's, and it's not a problem. The second thing is to deal with the tension of the bottom head. So the bottom head has to do with, uh, on Tom specifically, and whenever the snares are off, it has to do with the fall of the drum. So sa how short or long that decay is. So the boom, how long does that happen? How steep is the fall? In, in other words, whenever it boom, it does it go real quick or is it boom? and it falls at the end. I know those are kind of weird noises, but when we're hitting drums, that, that has, and the bottom head has a lot to do with that. Now on the snare drum, the bottom head specifically has a lot to do with getting more action from this guy, more snap from the actual snare. Um, and so in doing that, just as a general rule, I tune the my snare head bottoms much higher than the uh than uh than any of my other drum all my drums i typically tune the bottom heads higher that's just how i do things but on the snare especially because the tighter this head the more snap and response you're going to get from the snares so it's not just also affecting on a snare drum affecting the tone of the drum it does not as much to the extent that it does on a tom because you have a strainer sitting against that head but what it does do is really, really affect the snap you get from the snare, snare. So if you're not getting enough snare response, stop messing with the top head, go to the bottom head and the snares themselves and find out, do I need to tighten them some? Or do I need to tighten that bottom head? The tighter that bottom head uh, is, is strung there with those sitting against it, the, the more response you're gonna get from that snare. So, um, or the snare, the snary sound, if you will. The, so it's gonna make the drum much more responsive. Uh, so that's my second tip is that bottom head comes up higher and if you're having trouble getting a, a good snap a good solid pop adjust the snares tighten them a little bit but also bring that bottom head up a little bit and that's going to help it snap uh, a little bit better the third one is one that i learned from having to set up quickly and make things happen quickly uh, on the gig and that is and now this is not, if I was tuning for a session, this would usually, unless it worked. Sometimes it works. I'm not going to say never. Um, because tuning is, there are some people that are like, you have to have every lug tuned it. You don't. Like sometimes I've gotten a drum and the lugs are way off and one lug is completely detuned and the, the drum sounds fantastic. It really just has to do with the drum. This is like a moving thing. The wood expands and contracts. The head expands and contracts. The, it's all moving. And so sometimes it, every it's a good place to start with every lug in solid tune with each other to the same pitch but you don't always have to stay there i don't always i, I don't ever say always with with in the world of tuning uh, because if it's the correct sound for the recording you're going for then that's the tuning you need in a live environment i've often found that i can quickly change the responsiveness of the snare by messing with the two lugs that are sitting on either side of that snare. 
So instead of taking the time, if I'm at a festival or if I'm, if you know, I have five minutes before I got to go on and the snare is giving me problems, instead of retuning that whole bottom head, you're going to see me start to mess with these lugs right here. And by doing that, that's going to improve the responsiveness of the snare immediately. It, it, and and um, I don't have to retune the whole bottom head. So that's just three tips that will help you with tuning on the bottom of the snare head. Get the snares out of the way. You can do that just with a simple drumstick. The second is responsiveness of the snares. Uh, I bring my snare head up higher typically, but the, the tighter that bottom snare head is, the more snap you're going to get out of the snares, the more responsiveness you're going to get. And that obviously you have to adjust these snare wires as well. And then uh, if you need a quick fix, messing with the two lugs on either side of the snare strainer bed uh, is really going to give you a quick, you know, if you need more snap quickly, hit those, give them a, a, a half turn, quarter turn, and see how that affects things. But what are your biggest tips for tuning the bottom head? Or maybe what are your biggest questions? Maybe you're like, I don't even know what to do. You know, when I first started drumming, like I had no clue what was going on with that bottom head. And so put those questions down there. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Three videos coming out every week. Tons of tips, tons of lessons, tons of practice videos, gig videos, you name it. Uh, and I'm trying to put it out there for you. If you ever want to see a certain topic, let me know. If this has helped you, share it with somebody you think it may help as well. Give it that thumbs up button. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And then if you want to, jump over to the website. Check out the Drum Better Daily program. Um, there's hundreds of videos in the members program uh, with individual courses, all that stuff. Tons of goodies. But all those links are below. But uh, whatever you do, I'll see you here in the next video.